This is Jack. What's good, family? Welcome to another episode of An Honest Conversation About Hip Hop. It is your boy, Hip Hop O'Head, a.k.a. Hip Hop's Uncle Phil. And tonight with me, as always, I got with me the one and only. It's your boy, Son Capone, the greatest rapper never know. We in the building. How you doing, man? All right, post it. Post, you ready? Post it like a pimp right, on a Friday. Right. On a Friday. You know. All right. And my one and only, to my right. Big Who, a.k.a. The Stroke. Because I had one and the nigga didn't lose his stroke. <laughs> <laughs> the stroke. Strokey mind. And uh, tonight with us, uh, we have a special guest who last time came here and uh, we discussed 444. Uh, the highest downloaded episode of Anonymous Conversation about Hip Hop That's Real Shit was that episode with you. So, uh, shit, artist, producer, uh, Chef, I'm trying to think about the oh, shit I God. know about and, you. And see, don't call Jack me. I, I'm, listen, I'm not charting it. I don't No, I'm not taking orders or plates. <laughs> yeah. You might see some. I'm not making you a plate for no dollar amount. If I like you, you might get you a plate. Nigga, if I'm at your house and I'm hungry, yeah. I'm not going to cook for just me. No, I feel that. Um, The one and only, David Cash. So... What's man? First of all, what's up? How you been since the last time we sat down? I know a lot. You've done a lot musically, um, you know, and now you're expanding. You got, you have a. If I'm not mistaken, you have one or two artists, and I heard, I heard the yellow, heard yellow tape on a couple of uh, tracks with you, um, or whatnot. But uh, you're producing now. It's just been, it's been a lot of growth since the last time we sat down. So before we get into the, what we're gonna talk about tonight. Why don't you introduce yourself to the folks? Let them know who you are for those who weren't rocking with us way back when 444 dropped. Was that like two years ago? Yeah, not nah, yeah. yeah. almost, right? It's like what? Nah, it's yeah. almost two. <clears throat> Hold almost on, we two got summers. Here. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we don't we fact check on the show. We just say a lot of shit. But I want to say, let me see. I want to say that was almost two years ago, right? I think it was 2000, yeah. end of 2017, maybe 2008, early 18, if I'm not mistaken. So, but that's the last time you sat down with us. Uh, you're back now. Um, you have a new project out, uh, The Gangland USA. And from what you're sharing with me, this is part of a uh, six album arc. Like, uh, I'm an old head, so I don't really, I, I, it's hard for me to understand, like. He's what, an old head, but he's actually like 30, eight days off of the mark that is actually two years that 444 came out right okay so, so that's that pentium process <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that, you got shit. that elephant brain yeah that, nah nah that's that's, that's that old dell i got that right. dell that. Hey, not a lot of memory but it's sturdy as fuck you throw it around kick it down some stairs <laughs> that should have worked but it's only good for whatever but but that shit that shit is sturdy to the motherfucker. Yeah. so you're back, man. You got the Gangland Project that's out on Spotify, Title. Where else is it? Um, it's on iHeart. It's on uh-huh. Pandora. It's, right. it's on Amazon. It's on, it's on, you know, to be honest with you, man, it's a long list of motherfucking names. I, I be on Spotify, and I'm not promoting them. They don't give me no money or mm-hmm. nothing. Right. I'm just a Spotify-ass motherfucker, like, because, you know, that... I had a title, but that got shit got annoying, and I felt like I was getting bribed to to, to order the shit. Because um, because Jay's trying to give you everybody's record to sign up for t- for uh, yeah, no, for it's like nigga, I gotta first and foremost, bro. So I gotta download your shit right and pay you thirty dollars a fucking what is that shit for high fidelity? I think it's like seventeen, eighteen dollars okay, a month. Okay, I gotta give you eighteen dollars a motherfucking month. Yeah. To hear your punk ass albums, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. your your albums are the only ones. That I don't know if you kidnap Beyonce's music, <laughs> but it's on there. Okay, but yeah. can you get it anywhere else? I don't know, cause I don't listen to Beyonce. Me but neither. Jay Z. Sometimes I want to hear Cashmere Thoughts. Right, right. Can't right. do it, Jack. Yeah. I can't get it on YouTube, Jack. Nah. You that's... good? You good? You rich? Yeah. And we are gonna get into Jay, cause that's actually the first topic in a minute, but. uh for, for those again that have never heard the music give people just kind of the my, the thing that always amazes me about you is just the history and some of the names that you've been associated with the work that you've put in right and and I'm being a, a 100% real on this 
I think you are someone that really needs to talk with younger artists who are preparing themselves for the industry now right. and just how things really move at a rapid pace. Right. And we and we can name the names of these people who, who were at one time stuck in bad deals, not saying that you were, right. um, and never got out of it or those that were able to get out of it. And I think someone like yourself who, you know, has done the industry thing, right. has done the independent thing, been able to experience them both. I think that's very key, especially here on the West. Cause I don't really think there's a lot of people who are willing to share their stories, their experiences. And I appreciate you when you came on the show last time and you shared, we were talking earlier and you're sharing. And I think, I think uh, that's what these young dudes are really missing. I think that you could be somebody who kind of bridges that gap, uh, someone who's done it versus those people who are still waiting to do it. I think it's crazy. Cause like, for one, thank you. And I'm humbled by you describing me the way you describe me. Um, I never went through, you know, I never did the whole industry shit. I just worked with a bunch of industry niggas. Right. Um, I reached out. You gotta understand pressure. Yeah. You know, and the only thing I have ever come from was the street. So there was no, okay, this part of me is street and this part of me is, nah. And I talk the way I talk and I think the way I think and, you know, I react the way I react and my friends are my friends. Right. You know, and, you know, but, man, you know, like when I when I heard Metro Bowman, right. you know, 19 and Bowman, uh, I downloaded it off of Dat Pip. And I said, this nigga right here, yeah. When Kendrick Lamar coughed at the end of that record, mm -hmm. I said he's gonna be considered the best rapper from California. And I'm from California. Yeah. And I can really rap, like, really. Mm -hmm. But when I heard him do that, I knew the reaction of people. See, like, people always think it's what comes out of their mouth, but it's actually what you listen to. It ain't about what comes out your mouth. Nigga, that's your opinion. Or that's what's been influenced. Or let's just say you wasn't influenced and you just organically came up with that. Yeah, that, that stuck. Yeah. Okay, but that's still you. You already know that. And I tell females this all the time. Shut the fuck up. Because you already know what you're going to say. You have no idea what I'm about to say. Right. And that may be, I don't know, because there's a lot of politics right now talking about homosexuality and talking about feminism and even we, talking about masculine behavior and what's acceptable. It here, and, so, so don't trip. I don't want to offend anybody. Well, but that's just, I come from the land of the offensive. Right. These I, microphones, yeah. man, these are just things to show off money, mm. show off what we got. Notice. Everybody from a place that like this similar to where I'm from, oh, we use those platforms to show what we got, nigga. Oh wait, I'm getting it too. Yeah. Oh, look at my bad bitch. Right. Look at my stack of money. Right. Look at this car I just bought. Yeah. If they don't got that, they gonna show you pictures of their kids. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So like social media in itself is actually not really who we actually are. Right, right. So when we're so when we put out our shit on this platform, for one, I don't want no I don't want nobody to know where I'm at. Right. I don't want niggas to see my shoes. Oh, we got a description of this guy right here. <laughs> Motherfuckers getting indicted and getting indicted yeah. off the internet. Off the internet, Takashi. There's so and, many and, artists. And, and, and then like let alone fuck street shit, right? Right. We got sociopaths that have a platform mm -hmm. to look at. They got a, this shit is like dominoes to them. Not the game, but the pizza. Mm. They can just order a pizza. Yeah. Put your kids on the top. Yeah. Bruh, mm. it's sick out here. Yeah, yeah. And people, I think people are losing grasp of really what is humane, mm -hmm. the good and the bad. Right with social media yeah because the limit on social media i think it gets pushed every day we we see shit 
it's like you become so d- desensitized to shit. People share videos of people getting ki- ki- shot in the head, or right. we you know, at yeah, it. or pictures We're of babies, again. yeah, babies being born, and you know, some of those moments that might have been personal, or some of those moments when you sit back. I remember as a youngster watching Faces of Death, right, and the first oh. time seeing that <laughs> and being shook and be like, "Fuck, did I just see that?" And it took me hey. a minute to be like, "Damn, they just blew that dude in." That I think shit. it was like I got Thailand or, I got or, or, or Vietnam. That. They blew his head. And I was just like, you know what? The first time I saw that was 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 just shocking to me. But I did go back. And that shit and used I to did. be on like that shit used to be on DVDs and shit. Yeah, like. I used to go to the video store. They had it was faces faces to death. I think volume one through six. Yeah, and I remember shit, getting like three I or that four. Shit on YouTube, bro. Yeah, that's that shit it's, is... it's it's but and th- so by today's standards. That's just some shit on the internet. Right. But back in our day, that shit was like, yo, that shit is foul. That shit's offensive. You felt a certain way. But the, the you know, that internet, the internet has definitely desensitized us to a lot of Man, I got a violence. page. Yeah, I got yeah. a page. I just, real shit. Yeah. All my shit, funny shit, niggas getting beat up. <laughs> That's my whole and, and, and fat asses. <laughs> fat asses, people getting knocked out and, and in jokes. Yeah. So couple let, artists I look into that you fuck with. So let let's 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 get into some some conversation, man. So uh, this week the big news is Jay uh, linking up with the NFL on two fronts. First front is he Rock Nation is going to basically control uh, the NFL's entertainment for a period of time, uh, especially the Super Bowl. And then the second front. Uh, Jay Z is going and Rock Nation. They're going to be the ones who are, I guess, um, uh, letting the NFL know how they're doing when it comes to their social injustice platforms. Um, and and Jay is going uh, Rock Nation. I keep saying Jay, but Rock Nation, that team, is going to be giving input into how they can improve things. One thing is they want to give voices to the players. They want players to have podcasts so they can uh, speak out. Uh, Rock Nation will be overseeing all the like marketing and things. Uh, of this nature and then today out of nowhere according to tmz if we believe if we believe tmz they do spew a lot of bullshit but it was announced that jay is very close to being a partial owner of an nfl franchise now the timing of this the announcements of this i'm gonna go to you uh, first cash because you are you are the guest on the show how do you feel uh in regards to someone who just shit last february told everybody do not fuck with the super bowl to now openly embracing the Super Bowl, uh, the NFL, and you know possibly becoming an owner. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, if I was going to the NFL, right, and say I wanted to get some money with the NFL, the last name I would ever bring up is Colin motherfucking Kaepernick. Right. Sorry, Jack. I don't care. That's my cousin. Like, literally my cousin. I'm not going to bring him up, even if I'm bringing him in. So everybody got to just watch Jay. Like, his, his for TMZ. Yeah, I don't know how true that like is. That's like the nosy auntie. Like, that's <laughs> like he just knows everything. This And sometimes it's true, and sometimes it's not. Sean about to get that NFL money. <laughs> and, and Sean ain't. <laughs> Sean working for Geico. You feel me? Like, oh, shit. sometimes it don't go the way auntie said go. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for. You know, I think that Jay-Z, um, for one, I don't give a fuck who you are. You could be from the... Man, I don't care who you are. You get in the NFL, nigga, you are NFL. <laughs> we don't clap enough for niggas that do good, bro. Jay-Z, he's a billionaire. He's a black man. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I don't care how many necks he cut. <laughs> So let me ask you this. So he did it. The way I look at this is, I, am I shocked? No, because we know Jay's history. We He's go capitalist. Rock Nation. We go Rock Aware. Where we t- we know Jay's yeah, capitalist. And so before I get you know Pooh and, and Daniel uh, sign your thoughts on this, here's my question to you: Why in our community, hip hop, black, even Latino uh, community, why do we view people? who might be a little more cutthroat when it comes to business as a bad guy. But in everyday corporate America, this is the move to make. If the guy that you beat out for, you know, uh, for this for this gig or whatever would call you and be like, you fucking bastard, you fucking did it. I don't know how you got that gig and I did it, but I'm gonna get the next one. But in our community, it, it, it ends up becoming, oh, I can't believe 
you know, he, he went and did that. And there's some things that I agree with. My I mom, think there's some things he stepped around. My mom told but, me, my mom told me when I was a kid, I cried uh, when uh, Mufasa died, right? Okay, yeah. Um, when Scar got fed to the hyenas, I turned I turned the whole shit off. I just clicked. Yeah. As a man, when I was watching the movie Lion King, the cartoon, yeah. when Scar got cornered, I turned it off because I knew what he made, where his mistakes went wrong. Right, right. See, the person who, or the character, or the creature that wants it more, yeah, he's always looked at like, because the majority of people don't want it as much as he wants it. Right. Floyd Mayweather, he wanted it enough to not get hit. <laughs> These stupid motherfuckers could have figured it out. And he's probably dumber than most of them. Right. But he figured it out. Right. Don't get hit. That's how you become the best boxer. Not who hits the hardest, but who doesn't get hit. So, if you the motherfucker that is gonna take that, you, if you, you have to be a certain motherfucker to be like, oh, you my best friend. Bye now. But he didn't do him dirty. He went like this. Bye now. Because there's something more important than friendship to him. There's something more important than it. And he can market it now in so many ways. He can market it right now that there's something bigger than him. Something bigger than hip hop. Something bigger than this. This is why I'm doing it. Because there's still things that are bigger than Jay-Z. Right. So as long as there's things bigger than Jay-Z, he got a marketing scheme. He's got a marketing scheme. I didn't think about it that way. That... That is actually, they're not spinning it that way. And that's how he should be spinning it, is it's bigger than me. He's not spinning it that way. And that's 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 brilliant that you brought that up. But Sam, I'm going to ask you, how do you feel about, uh, you know, somebody who boycotted the NFL last year, um, you know, now this year coming up? How do you feel about, you know, Jay, the move, and now him working with the Rock Nation, working with the, the NFL? I mean, it's, it's a chess move financially, you yeah. know. I mean, he... He he played the NFL. He played us, you know what I mean, and, and played everybody involved. And I mean, personally, could I do it and sell out my people, you know, for a check? Fuck no, you know what I mean. I I don't agree with this shit at all, you know. And this is this is this is not where our ancestors come from. Mansa didn't fucking sell out his people. You know what I mean? To go ahead and get gangs. And I think that's where we've lost our way. And we, we see Jay as being powerful. But at what cost do you remain to be as powerful? You know, Jay is he's, he's a noticeable face. He doesn't say shit. He's never stood for anything. He's Robert Shapiro for the entertainment industry as far as getting famous motherfuckers out of trouble mm. but he hasn't That's done he hasn't done really anything did. for the kids he hasn't done anything for the women he hasn't done anything mm. for the community That's true. he hasn't did shit no you know schools I mean? in Marcy right no schools uh, in Marcy I mean, nothing nothing no, in that Brooklyn fuck Marcy Brooklyn mm. in Brooklyn you, you know, know what I mean yeah um I don't in response because I know it, we go on here let's say no nah, this is hey you got something to say let's say it man that's how we do it I think that well, I don't think that. I know that Jay is capitalist. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. I mean, that's a proven track record. It he is. does not. Can you be a responsible capitalist, though? Can you still give back to the proven, neighborhood? He's he's proven responsibility to a certain degree. To himself. Um, to himself. I mean, he's also, that are... he, he's also built schools in Africa. Can't forget that. No, no. But what about yeah, Brooklyn? Man, no, you know what I mean? Like, I understand. No, there is no real motive for him to bail out people from the Black Lives Matter movement, whatever the fuck that nah, is. Nah, he does do that. I got my ass whipped by the police before shit was on television. <laughs> right, right. I just thought I was getting my ass whipped by police. Right. I, now, all that shit, so I really don't give a fuck about that shit. Right, right. And but he, he, but neither time, neither does he. Neither does he. But I'll throw you a concert in Super Bowl, you know what I mean, 53. You know what I mean? That's all he cares about. Right capitalist but if we know that jay-z is a capitalist then we know jay-z is a capitalist right and that's why this move doesn't and, surprise me. and this is what this is what disturbs me we're not gonna sit here and sift 
through David Besso's life or yeah. Bill Gates' life. Right. But because it's Jay Z, right. oh, you're supposed to be like us. But right. But he's got to be. That, but he's you got have money. But we don't. But do hold this. up. But hold up. He's got to be more accountable because he is like us. You know, he's in a position of power and he's got more of a social responsibility because he made it out. He should be enlightening us as the culture. Now, we bitch about hip hop right. and how the fuck we sold hip hop out as a culture and how the shit is dumbed down and reaching our fucking kids. Right. You know what I mean? Jay Z is doing the same fucking thing, but selling out not hip hop, but our people. Jay Z has He's three. selling out our fucking people. Jay Z has three rappers. Because he's a capitalist. Jay Z has three rappers. He has three rappers. Then he's really, we've seen him with them. It's J. Cole, for one. Jay-Z's responsible for J. Cole. When J. Cole was fresh out of North Carolina and went to college and he had a fake. Yeah. That kid's like, this generation is Marley or some shit. Hmm. And I don't. You don't fuck with him. But J. Cole is that to them. Not only that, Jay-Z represents a certain part of African-American culture that's been undermined and swept under a rug, and that's black marriage. Yeah. Legacy. So instead of giving you the fish, he's, he's showing that, you what but, to do with the fish. No, but that's a Living facade, itself. because Will and, and Jada, and their, their marriage is more public Jay don't say shit. He's not, he's not represent. Jay only represent Jay. You know what I mean? Man, his wife doesn't even talk to the media. Yeah, I, she I, is but the have you ever female on this planet? All Jada does is run her fucking mouth. She got a television show where she runs her mouth. Beyonce, the only time we hear her is when she's singing, laughing, or accepting a fucking award. That's a queen. And she's to not say top. nothing? No, so not would you take Beyonce say, over not. Michelle Obama? You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, know what I mean? Who is more I the queen? That, I think that I think that Beyonce leader of the free more, world or, or fucking the Barkley singer or fucking the halftime show. You know what I mean? I think like that Beyonce has more in common with Michelle Obama than Jada does. How? Because she carries herself with such strength. Because she shut the fuck up. She doesn't need. You to know what I mean? She doesn't need to do anything else. She's amazing, and when she does speak. It's so profound because she doesn't do too much speaking. What What you mean profound? I mean, what What has she said? Well, for one, there's a definite like. Okay, profound is all Card about uh, man, how Cardi B. No, Cardi B got more influence on women than Beyonce, other nah, than record sales. You know, no, no, women will listen more to Cardi B face value than than listen to the Beyonce. Nah. You just proved now, my point, nah. sir. Sam, you just proved my point. Now, tickets? all Cardi B does <laughs> they'll, is they'll sit go there. around. All Cardi B does is sit around and run her mouth. Beautiful woman. I think that she went to LaGuardia. Um, you know, same school as Nicki Minaj. And Cardi B has finessed the industry in in a way that generally falls belly up. We, we've seen a number of strippers, we're not going to name them, run this ladder and fall belly up. Cardi B, and I'm going to say it, motherfuckers can say what they want because she hood, but her eloquence has carried her. Her charisma has, has carried, carried her yeah. to a certain level that's brilliant. To the but level. even Cardi B would tell you Beyonce. And I agree. She, Even Cardi B would tell you. I mean, when it comes to industry, Rihanna would tell you Beyonce, and there's all types of funny shit that goes on between Rihanna and that entire. There's a whole lot of rumors and all type of shit. Beyonce, and it's not about her shutting up and none of that shit. She could because I believe she be whooping Jay Z ass behind closed doors. <laughs> she be looking at that nigga like, I hate you, and she thick Jack. I think and Jay looks scared. You. JB, you see that nigga? That nigga be like this with his little hat on, grew his hair out, don't even get a shape up. <laughs> with his knees, what? yeah. You that know what? nigga be like this. Beyonce be like this. <laughs> Every time he's sitting next to a female, where's Beyonce? How's she looking? 
bitch. I wish yeah. you would. <laughs> That's some real shit. Yeah. She's a lioness, bro. Yeah. Lioness ain't doing no talking. They think coming back with the kill yeah. and they're feeding the pride. And they're not, they don't want no respect for it. Nigga, they don't want your approval for it. Beyonce's a queen. They showing you what it is. For sure, for sure. Yeah. That's Proverbs 31, Jack. Beyonce. <laughs> Pooh, let me ask you, man. Jay, Rock Nation, NFL, you are that NFL head. Uh, let me ask you from the standpoint of what can I'll ask you your thoughts as well, but also if you can touch on what do you think he brings to the the curation of halftime events, musical performances? But let me first get your get your take on on the whole situation. Um, man, I'm a football purist. I just think all this shit is a fucking distraction from the sport. I really don't give a fuck about none of that performance bullshit. The Super Bowl, I don't watch the fuck performance. I can care fucking less. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, he, he's a capitalist. I guess it, because he's black, we supposed to look at a nigga in a certain light because he's accomplishing this, accomplishing that. But my brain don't work like that. Shit, I come from the hood, straight up. Murder, death, kill. Like, I tell niggas all the time, nigga, I don't have no big homies. I, don't, I, I got niggas who then did, did, did that 20, 30 years older than me. But them niggas just another man than me, so I don't look up to me. Right. I don't look up to that nigga. I don't give a fuck what he accomplished. Right. Straight up. <laughs> so from the from the from the entertainment aspect, what can he bring to to the NFL? The last time I checked, the players on the field are African American, right? But the people who are consuming the product for the most part, spending the big dollars, definitely aren't. When all that kneeling happened, ratings didn't go up. Ratings went down. So is this more of a attempt to 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 soothe the media because i don't think by jay fucking with the nfl is going to bring more african americans to watch it or more hip-hop culture or cool no. people to watch it what, what it is is it allows them to do more shit to us because they got a black face that'll smooth the shit over like for mm. instance mm. jay-z oh jay-z's the owner of the brooklyn nets oh shit he bringing the brooklyn nets to to fucking uh to brooklyn the whole time, all that shit was was for them to smooth over gentrification. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as the move happened, then his little one point, whatever percent it was, he sold that shit and their job was done. So basically, all the NFL is going to return back to what the fuck it was. It just allows Jay-Z makes, mm-hmm. makes it where <laughs> they can make their moves and black people don't say shit because now we got Jay-Z. It's okay. It's, yeah, okay it's, it's fine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's, he's you know, not to steal from another nigga, but he's Al Sharpton. He mm-hmm. just swooped in and got a motherfucking check. And, and quieted the fucking riot down. Like, okay, y'all, we good now. He's a, one of these fucking corrupt preachers. He's one of them niggas where the streets about to fucking boil over, the pot is about to fucking explode, and then the preacher come out and calm the masses. Like, okay, y'all, we, you know, he's a fucking puppet. You know what I mean? So, since he's he's powerful, he got a billion dollars. Most of these uneducated ass niggas in the NFL making money, which I don't knock him for making money, but not the smartest motherfucking niggas in the in the fucking group. Since Jay Z has more money than them and more popular, and they looking at they looking at that like okay, well, let's listen to him. At the same time, nigga, he's he's just the black face. Mm. I really feel that shit. Like yeah. now, the white man, the good old boy network, continue to do what they fuck they want to do because it's cheaper to pay that nigga that little bit of money <laughs> than to pay for the real fucking issues that's going on. And All I right. agree, and I agree with you. And my, so my biggest question is, so how does he? Because you know this. This, this whole initiative, social injustice initiative that the NFL has created after, you know, uh, last year. Wh- how, from a, a Rock Nation NFL standpoint, do you really make our neighborhood better? You know what I mean? Are the LA Rams going to, you know, donate a billion dollars to... Like, I don't understand how how he's able to really tackle social injustice by latching on to the NFL. Um, like, I just, I mean... I don't see what that does for us. Just, here's the thing. Here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a, yeah, so they have a they have a what they call their social injustice <laughs> initiative. <laughs> yeah. So so how does that how's that how does that stop cops from killing people? I don't understand. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we're watching people's individuals, like for one, I want to say this. I don't in, in situations like this. I don't introduce my personal views necessarily. No, that's that's fair. Um, it's kind of like when I created that list. Yeah. Um, my favorite rap. What third would be Brother Lynch for me? 
right, right. I'm, I listen to shit different as far as what, like, I listen to is uh-huh. different. So, like, it's a personal, we looking at a man who's living his own motherfucking life. And this is what he's personally choosing to do. But his life is under a microscope. Only because now, he put himself in a position. Right, I, I totally understand that. Where he but says, at the same time, "Stand with Kaepernick." At the same, at the fuck same the time, NFL. at the same time, look at Barack Obama. Okay. Barack Obama, what the fuck was he? He's just a bigger, fucked up, more fucked up version of Jay Z. If he he's was, that good, he was he was a black face. If right. he's that good, then he's even more fucked up than Jay Z. Right. Who's over with? Who's any of these black capitalists? Then? If, we're, if that's what we're talking about, because that's what we are talking because about. Because if black that's what we're talking about, then we have to look at percentages for one. Now we talk about numbers because we're talking about their game. Right. But so if I open up a fucking, if I say I'm about to give away all this money to some kids, for what is a percentage? The Red Cross only gives a low percentage. I think less than 13, of what they earn. Less, less than thirteen percent or some shit. Yeah. The Red Cross. Right, right. So, like, when we're looking at Jay-Z and we're looking at characters like that, we have to understand, for one, this ain't personal. Everybody's like, us, 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 me, 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 I, I, I. Ooh, how is this going to make my life better? You might as well cut the fucking TV off and not care about none of this shit. Right. Because all of this, man, listen, I tell motherfuckers, the United States of America, you can find all of those words in a dictionary. Nigga, the United States of America ain't nothing but a super mall. If you're not here to buy or sell, get out. Get out, yeah. Period. Yeah. Jay-Z has figured that out. Is that's that, and, and, and it has nothing to do with family. Right. It has nothing to do with community. Right. That's sectioned off. Right. Money is sectioned off. Nigga, when someone walks into your home, the last thing they're gonna see is where your money's at. So, wh- why would he? Wh- 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 who's so, to say that? Who's to say that? When you make it to this certain point, nigga, God don't come out the sky and say, "Hey, Jay Z, <laughs> you got more money than everybody. Time to give it away." Yeah, right. No, right. there's a couple of things that he believes in. He reflects it in his music, and he reflects it in just the way he carries himself. He's a lot less flashy than the flashy, you know. He's also pretty ugly. Jay Z is Donald Trump with a black motherfucking face. Who doesn't talk? Mm, the biggest yeah. thing, but the biggest thing about Donald Trump is that he runs his fucking dick sucking. If he up. didn't say as much as he did, that nigga would be something that is so anti us. We wouldn't know what hit us. Yeah. I, 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 for the record, I'm glad he runs his mouth so much. So let me ask that's, you. Yeah, that's perfect. Let me ask you this. Doesn't. When we come back to, let me ask you as we come back to Jay. So is it our fault for believing in folks like that? Do we support the wrong people? Do it we is anybody's the... fault for believing in another person. We are people. We are gods. Period. That's called the false idol, sir. Real spit. I don't believe in, this is an optical illusion. It just so happens that I got sensories in my hand that enable me to touch you. I don't get, man, listen, like what Pooh said, nigga, I grew up, man, listen, Jack, the motherfuckers I idolize, nigga, they ain't cast, I don't even know if they're in caskets. I don't believe in slavery. I got master tattooed on my face. Mm. Were you there? Uh, personally, nah, I'm not that old. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> nigga. But I, I, but, I refuse to. But I got a, I got a picture in the white corner people though. People that had slaves, and it wasn't black people that had slaves too. In the Americas. If it wasn't just the muff, like, bro, they are running a game. This shit is all a game, bro. All of this shit is a game. Jay, just like what Pooh said, what you said, bro, is perfect. That's perfect. You. Nigga ain't supposed to be following these niggas anyway. That's when I speak man. on one of these motherfuckers, for one, that listens bullshit. Because while I listen to different, yeah. I listen to niggas that niggas never even heard of. And you can't put My that on the list. My got motherfuckers that who are you, who's that? Because it's it's personal to you. It's personal. All right.
Right. But when we're talking about, when we're speaking socially, yeah. And I don't do too many social gatherings. I know. I'm unmedia trained and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's why I appreciate you coming through. So like, I, I love this show because you actually talk about real content in a unfiltered way, and it's intelligent. Appreciate that. And it's hip hop. We try to say some. I stupid love hip hop, mm-hmm. nigga. And it's like, like so this let me... shit. I get a do- I get I get a fix off this. Feel me? It's so like, let's 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 play let's play the fantasy Booker and shit. So we know Super Bowl is coming. I'm gonna start with you, Pooh. What the fuck do you think the halftime Super Bowl show is gonna look like by Rock Nation? Do you think they're just gonna go JB out the gate? Do you think that they got cats like look, a little Uzi Vert's managed by them now? You got Cole, you got a whole bunch of other motherfuckers. Like, what do you expect? Is it going to be 100% hip hop for I think the first time ever? Or do you see Jay Taylor Swift? Do you see Jay doing wild shit? I mean, when they do that Super Bowl show, even though, like I said, I don't watch it, but you always hear about who's there. Number one, it's always, you got to have like a pop artist, country artist, so it has to be black, white. So You got Lil Nas X, he's, he's, he's country. Yeah, but look, the motherfucking white people will pick at the NFL if that shit become a fucking big yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I'm thinking... So we're not getting Meek? Meek, hey, you're 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 no. We're not going to get no Meek records? I, 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 look, let, let me ask you this: Is Rihanna still Rock Nation? Yes, mm-hmm. as of right now she is. A, a, a superstar yeah, like that is somebody right. who they can't reach. She right. wouldn't come because of the whole Kaepernick shit. Because Hov told her not to. Like Jay Z, like I forgot what the shit was called. What was the shit called when he had Meek and Nipsey and all of them at that one little gathering? But they all had on suits. Oh well, he has that rock brunch they do every yeah, okay, year. Okay, okay. Yeah. So when you look at that brunch, everybody was there because of Jay Z, right? Yeah. So when you look at that situation, to when you, look, when you look at it in a, in a business perspective, it, it, it's advertisement, basically. Yeah, so that's what it they, is. They see his cachet, like, oh, this is what he's available, he, he has to, um, to offer us. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, shit, JT has Rihanna. We can get Rihanna yeah. at a show. I think the only way that shit will work is they want superstars on the stage. Mm-hmm. So I don't think Jay-Z is going to move the crowd. But Rihanna, let's just say he was able to get Rihanna and J. Cole. Even though a lot of us don't fuck with J. Cole. He gets Rihanna and J. Cole on the stage. Yeah, yeah. That's major. And then, you know, let's just say, who's, I don't know Rihanna's music, but let's just say there's a major pop artist that happens to be white who she's collabed with. He gets that person on the stage, too. I think that's more the angle that he's going to go. Um, Jay-Z, um, he's basically showing he doesn't have a moral compass. So it doesn't matter what the fuck we want. He's going to do what's best for Jay-Z. Yeah, fucking Marilyn Manson. Is- <laughs> so, Sam, who who we who we who we seeing at the at, at the Rock Nation halftime show? Hey, I don't son? give a fuck, man. Nah, I, I, you're not, man. so you're not fucking. You're I'm not, not fucking I'm with not, any I'm not, man, Fuck Rock Nation, fuck Jay, and all that bullshit, man. Because it's, you know what I mean. We we sold ourselves out. You know what I mean. What what what's Kaepernick gonna be performing? You know what I mean. Well, yeah, nah, yeah he's, he's done. Shit. So, how you think Jermaine Dupri feels? Because here's a story. Uh, the cat uh, who who works with uh, Jay real close, I forget his name, or Jermaine real close, forget his name, co-produced shit for Usher, all of the all of Jay, uh, Jermaine's major hits. Supposedly before last year's Super Bowl, which was in Atlanta, the NFL reached out to Jermaine Dupri and offered him this exact same deal minus the uh, minus the ownership. And what was supposedly said was Jay, uh, Jermaine wanted to do it. Jay called and said, "Don't do it." And now, like I said. Less than a year later, Jay makes that big move. How do, I mean, there's going to be some animosity. Bro, I mean, he, there, there's no morality with Jay. So, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, if we going to sell out his people, you yeah, know, why wouldn't he sell out Jermaine Dupree? You know what I mean? Like, shit, it's, 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 it's capitalism. You know what I mean? Jay, Jay, Jay is a pilgrim. You know what I mean? And, and he land on Plymouth uh, Rock. Plymouth Rock. He used, land that's on the us. fuck he did. And, you know, we value money. We talk about idols and shit yeah. like that, but the idol is money. Yeah, that's, that's what our they, fucking yeah, idol. Yeah, that's what everybody's you know chasing. What I mean? and that's the problem, you know, is we, we've got false, you know, false idols, man. So, you know? so Cash, give me the Super Bowl show that that you envision as far as, as, as some of these acts. Billy Eilish and Kelly. Uh, black kid. Yeah. So the little kid with the uh, the uh, what was that joint? Uh, Billie Eilish. Uh huh. I know. I, I've never heard him in her music, but I've seen her with the colorful hair and shit like that. Khaled is to send you Jeez, my location kid. Like if, you, if we get location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's across the board. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 
this time. Is he Rock Nation they too? Launched, they, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. We're talking about Live Nation here. Oh yeah, People the bigger fish. Thinking outside yeah. of just what Rock Nation is. Yeah, that's the bigger fish. Jay Z, and now you also also you also have to think his, uh, historically. Mm -hmm. So either we're going old Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. or we're breaking the artist Bruno Mars. Because mm -hmm. Pepsi broke Bruno Mars. Right. I mean, the B.O.B. record, yeah, it was B.O.B. anymore, right? That's but crazy. At the same time, but at the same time, it was Pepsi that put him on that stage with, with that Beyonce. Because mm -hmm. Beyonce's also got a marketing deal, a sponsorship with Pepsi. Mm -hmm. So you got to think, you got to think historically. So either we going, oh, Guns N' Roses old, mm -hmm. or who's the new kids that they want to make the new kids. The new kids, yeah. And that's Billie Eilish, and that's Khaled. The eyes of Billie Eilish is, um, I think her vocal ability, um, she's not really one of those singer singers. She's not a powerhouse type singer. But she understands melody, and she's a kid. Mm -hmm. She's what? And she brings in. 15, 16 or she's something like She brings in clientele. Yeah, yeah. She's very popular. I've never heard any songs, but I constantly see her And then Khaled name. is the black kid that all the white boys love. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the it's no, location. He sounds like Tracy Chapman. <laughs> That's what that <laughs> Living in a fast car. <laughs> that is a fast. If he sung fast car, let's get some bread, Jack. Yeah, that's what? real shit. If that motherfucker sung fast car up there, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, now nah, you figured it out. <laughs> you figured it out. But the little uh, white girl said, in and the little black boy. Yeah, yeah. That's how it, it'll be ran because you got to understand. This shit is not about us. It's yeah. about the portrayal of us. us. And they're gonna get In us the middle us. of it, it's the betrayal of, of us. us. But it's all about how we individually live. Mm. Like, I don't remember the, I don't, I don't, I buy products that either subdue me mm. or make my culinary skills look better. And that's just a bunch of salt, peppers, a great piece of protein, yeah. um, you know, uh, whatever's fresh at yeah. the time. Yeah. And then whatever I pollute my body with. Right. I don't buy none of this shit, Jack. I give you motherfuckers a hack right now where you can get free Spotify like me. <laughs> the fuck you mean, Jack? I'm not buying shit. Yeah. And I that's I don't remember. And anything. that's why they don't make shit for us no more. Cause last I can't tell you the last time I bought some shit. They, Dodger Stadium is when we were shooting a commercial in Dodger Stadium, and I was being paid to be there because I was working on that job. Right, right. I'm not going to none of this shit. Yeah. But like, as far as what I can see, yeah. I'm gonna pick the new white girl and the new black, black boy. Girl, yeah. I personally feel it's gonna be about J and B up from Jump. I, if I'm not, and again, I'm no fact check on this, but if I'm not mistaken, that'd be a ball dropper. No, because check it out. Ball on that, I don't think the white folks are trust like that. No well, way. no, check it out. So they they're not gonna go. It ain't gonna be Beyonce in the blue, in, in in the Panther outfit or whatever. None of that shit. I, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the 20 or 25th anniversary of like Destiny's Child, one of those records or that'd whatever. That would be that would be, be a I, bad look for Jay because that's a double edged sword right there. It'd be in their best interest to not put themselves on the shopping block. So, but you don't think if they come out that doing true. Say My Name or Pay My Bill, a little melody yeah, or whatever. It's already, been, it's already been done. So they already and did she that? already came out like this. Once you come out like this. Yeah. Oh, you just about to turn right around and now you all of a sudden. Say my name, say my name. That's I, out. But that I think they can out. get away with that. That'll tarnish her name. But uh, so but why does it NFL not look good? And that's not why, a fair trade. But why does it not tarnish Jay's name, who just said fuck the NFL last year, and business. now because he's doing business, right? He sit at a desk and he over there arrogant and smug. He was smiling at the pictures. He looked like he hit the fucking lottery. That motherfucker. Him and Goodell looked like they he were. Wasn't, he people. wasn't calling the owner of that motherfucker his Superman. He wasn't answering no one the fucking question. He was spinning every fucking he's, thing. Yeah, but you know what? When you have Charlamagne, we have industry people, Angie Martinez there, people who I respect. Jay Z, but when you money talk. Yeah, but when you have those people who are influenced by the money he, talking, that's what, that's what ends up happening. But that's the conversation. I like that. To be honest with you, he inspires me. 50 Cent is a bastard. He's got yeah. a big mouth. Jay Z is a bastard on the whole mm. times 100. Right. Then that's the flip. Jay is a, is a successful bastard. I'm not saying 50 is not successful, but he over here and tell him he's turned into money. he's turned into that's the his whole thing. I'm a clown. You if you yeah. owe me some money. He's turned into the Mammy King. He's the he's the adult six nine in my point. I wish in I owe him some money. <laughs> hey, go to a strip club. Let me hand you a stack. 
man, get into that. Write back. some fire. Write it some fire bars. Hey man. Hey, I no it won't. It, uh, Fifty Fifty fell off a long time ago. He um, fell off after the first one, right? In my opinion, candy I shop yeah. Is out, absolutely absurd. Yeah, that was it. Once you hit candy shop, nigga, you out there greased up like that. <laughs> candy shop, nigga, you got a slingshot. It's not a slingshot. I'm, I'm not. And he killed Ja Rule. I, man, who I was doing this? Ja. You killed the mother. You killed. Hey, you killed the. You. That's like. That's like killing a steak. <laughs> it's already dead, right? It's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just is cleaned up, and you about to fry that. It's gonna taste good yeah. to the motherfucker. No, no, but, but what, it's dead. But what I was saying is, you dissed Ja for making them corny as a girl it trash, the and thing. then you came back uh, no, with the candy formula. shop. Where we had magic. We, we had, we had ma- magic stick and as all this kind of shit. Know this as human. That shit is like, crazy. We gotta look at what's human. Right. That's human. He was, it's called jealousy. But he didn't have to. That's the crazy shit. It, it, 50 had his own lane. No one who there was, was ever no jealous ever had to be jealous. That's true. I, I think it just, it, I think. Bobby Womack was jealous of Sam Cooke. So I put his wife, right? Did him dirty. Didn't have a baby hmm. or some shit? What is it? When his kids. Him, couldn't wait for him to die. Yeah. Hmm. And then, yeah, after he passed away, didn't he move like in with the family? Like a straight bitch. Cold, yeah. hoe ass yeah, nigga Bobby Womack. That's some shit. <laughs> That's shit. When do you think it's gonna come out that Jay fuck Foxy when she was a teenager? Uh, that's yeah. already out though. Why you think the motherfucker yeah. was so quiet? That's already out though. Man, we know that. Remember we was talking about that before we yeah. did? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Jay Z is was quiet as a mouse when they was yeah. airing R. Kelly yeah. shit out. Why? Right. Yeah. Well, look at, look at Diddy right now. Well, that's what I'm saying. All of we, I did a show with that. Oh, Steve Harvey, they got blicky, blicky, blicky. Yeah, Baby, I did. What do you mean, nigga? My daughter? Yeah. What well, do you mean? My 20 year old daughter? I'm doing you bad. Nigga, Diddy, I'm but that's, doing you bad, Jack. That's how moms raised him, though. Because both both her daughters are out there getting it. Man, with Steve Harvey successful got too dude. thick a mustache to be playing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Every nigga I know with a thick mustache like that ain't bullshit, Jack. Well, Steve, Steve, what, hey, Steve is at one. That's bullshit. Made, <laughs> we gonna see what he made, bro. Hey, we, hey it, it comes down to it. It, it. You can't do certain things. I just don't see, Steve's not make I don't Steve doesn't look like the type of cat he, that's he, flexing he, he, on it. He got bought a long time. Yeah, on everything. Yeah. On everything. Yeah, you know. And then they took him out weird. He was on but top, he was, he was doing everything. He, he and then bought, they like see that's the thing. Like, I don't really necessarily think Jay-Z is bought. I think that Jay-Z and motherfuckers like that, because for one, you ain't gonna buy yourself in a billionaire status. He's a dickhead. Mm-hmm. He deserves all the credit for being a piece of shit he is. Yeah, he does. That nigga did, did, I'm gonna tell you what he did. Slid into business. For one, how do you even, see this is what people don't realize. How did he even get to meet Dame Dash? Yeah. Who'd he, whose neck did he cut to get the Dame? Right. Dame's a schoolboy from Harlem. He went to all Catholic schools, Slurp nigga. He just plays the deal, he look, he look cool when he drunk. Yeah. <laughs> when that jaw's wiggling. He's a, he's a nerd. <laughs> yeah. But before that, Who's dope did he cut to get the jazz off? Real shit. Yeah, that goes way back. You know, when you think about it saying shit like that, I think those old tycoons respect another cutthroat. So he can- That's what I'm saying. It's cutthroat world in yeah. that. Motherfuckers be like, oh, it's a secret society. Please, nigga, no. Nigga, you're not smarter. You're not harder. Nigga, you motherfuckers got some money. And you don't want you don't want to talk to nobody else unless they got some money. That ain't a secret. Yeah. Nigga, if I got that thing, nigga, I don't want to associate with nothing but a nigga who got that thing on him. Yeah. And I want to know who got it on him so I I know what I'm dealing with. Yeah. It's the same thing with money. Money, the money is a commodity. Yeah. Money, money attracts money. Yeah, and that's it's definitely, money, man. Niggas that's... don't want to have a conversation with you unless you got a certain type of money. Yeah. And that, like, You're not in that bracket. Let, let's let's switch gears real quick. Uh, Snoop has a new record out. Uh, our new album uh, is called uh, "Thank." I gotta thank me or thank me. I'm welcome or something like that. Um, and he's he he dropped the Suge track. We talked about that last week. This week on Nipsey's birthday, he drops a new track called "One Blood One Cuz." Dedication type track to to to, to Nip and also 
you know, trying to bring about some, uh, some, some unity. So my question, and uh, I'll start with you, Cash, is and we talked about this a little bit uh, off you know, before we started recording. What I mean, is there any reality? How do we kind of get to a point where? He from here. That's how. Like, how do we get there? He from here. Yeah. We gotta understand. He from all the twins. He from here. We can judge Snoop the way the fuck we want to judge Snoop because he from here. Right. You know, um, I think what Snoop's accomplishments is one thing. His cripping is a whole nother thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like anything that that I'm a cripping purist. Okay. <laughs> Straight up down. So you don't I fuck don't with blue face. In, you don't fuck with any of these these new crips. If I'm wearing red, I'm trying to trick you, Jack. Yeah. I'm mic- I'm now I'm Mickey as fuck, Jack. Mm. I don't believe in none of that. When I saw Dub C Crip walking on a green flow nigga with red chucks on for Christmas, it was a Christmas shit. <laughs> I was like, you've got to be shitting me, Jack. They that shit would have still had to be blue. Mm. Got me fucked up. Like that's extra like so I don't believe in none of that one blood, one cuss shit. That's out of here. Like we could coexist, you feel right. me? To where, you know, because when it come down to where I'm from, we don't even, uh, ain't too many blood niggas I don't really, uh, you know, right. clash hands with. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, but that's that. But that's that. Yeah. It's the culture of it. I think it's a misconception that there's this bloods versus blue versus red. Right. It's a misconception. It's just a so non-existent bond. It's blue versus these niggas over here, these niggas over here, these yeah. niggas over here. Right. I'm a bull, so I see red. Right, right. So that's different, though. Mm. But, like, nigga, that, all that one blood, one cuz shit, that's weird. That's Snoop being Snoop. And everybody knows Snoop is just being Snoop. Yeah. You know, um, I'm just happy you're not doing the Snoop Dogg lying shit. And I'm happy because I'm not doing the gospel shit. Yeah. I only want to hear Snoop on certain type of beats. Right, right. That should be was one of them beats I would like to hear Snoop on. Like an older beat. I like that type of shit for yeah. Snoop. That to me that sounded like Snoop. So I'ma say yay for that. And then also, it's kinda like, it's kinda like shady in a way that I kinda like. Cause it's like, oh yeah. Yeah, I, nigga, I what? I been squashed that shit with this nigga. That nigga, please. Mm-hmm. I been squashed that. Yeah, and that's what we said last and week. And that's on the how show. I felt like that. Like how he did that. Yeah. And now all that dropping records on Nipsey's birthday, and you talk about one blood, one cuz shit. Yeah. And you probably think that his relationship with him and YG is whatever you may think it may be. Right. That's not a blood crit relationship. Right, right. That's a we're two successful young rappers right, right now. Right. And we're gonna do songs together. Right. So the unity is different at a level when people and are then making money. it develops. Right. Then it becomes like, hey, this is my nigga right here, bro. Like yeah. We just made this song, make all this money, nigga. We feeding our babies, nigga, and shit like that. We ain't never had nothing, nigga. I'm sitting here with you. Yeah. You my nigga. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Yeah. You my nigga. Right. I feel like it was more like a relationship like that. Then Because when it come down to it, Thundercat is a whole nother character from Nipsey Hustle from our minds. Yeah. It's three niggas. It's three. Man, everybody's three, four niggas, man. Right. That's <laughs> right. So when we look at these people, we judge them in a certain light and we, we just put them in a certain... So now you mean to tell me that YG is Nipsey Hussle's best friend. Why? Because they did Fuck Donald Trump together? <laughs> and a couple other songs? Yeah. Motherfucking hell no. Who did that nigga YG best friend? I don't even know who Nipsey best friend is. He's African. He came over here like that. <laughs> I think it's like he oh, it's either Black Sam or another African. <laughs> or another, an, an, another, uh, another. That's why uh, the Henleys and them is like that. The way it is. Not, man, listen, Jack. I fuck with Mike Henley. I fuck with Big U. Nigga, I really fuck with him. Right, right. Eugene, right. I fuck with him. Yeah. yeah. Mike is my nigga. He was actually signed to me. Mm. And Mike, you know, he in the pen right now. But at the same time, that shit, man, Nip, you have to understand. People just look at Nipsey Hussle the crib. No one ever looks at Nipsey Hussle the African. Yeah. Where the fuck you think the hustle came from? Right, right. And that niggas uh, buying Alibaba, nigga, huh? 
Niggas on Alibaba.com <laughs> buying nigga wholesale. Nigga, come on, man. That's where they come from. That dude That's just what know. The dude that owns Alibaba, not to cut you off, just bought the fucking nets. Off of selling bootleg shit. He just bought the new Jersey motherfucking nets. The Russian dude sold it for about $1.5 billion. So for those that don't know what Alibaba is, and if you're lying, you're lying if you don't know what Alibaba on, is. Because you probably bought some shit on there. Nigga, they, I look for a metric ton of argon oil. <laughs> of argon oil. Why? Nigga, they know. selling an ounce of argon oil in a store right now for 40 bucks. I think it's in a metric ton. Get a metric ton of that motherfucker for a couple of racks. Uh. Nigga, it's legal dope. Mm. Alibaba is a drug dealer, Jack. Yeah, he is. He and just he, certified. And he just bought, he bought the fucking He's a nets. drug dealer. That nigga got all the oils. Mm-hmm. All the dyes. Bootleg Kanye West kicks Man, and shit. All, they got and everything. All that, but he got real shit, though, too. He got real stuff, like... Like the marula oil. Okay. I'm familiar you got with that. Oils. Yeah. Like I'm going to check that out. Hey, that's pretty dope. Sign. Put it in a bottle, put a label on it. Grandfather Snoop, because he is, you know, now trying to bring peace to to the streets. You know, your take. Is there any possibility from that? Do we really have a hope? Or is this all just smoke and mirrors? Should cats stop making these Unity records? You got to have something to hope for. You know what I mean? And, and again, as I spoke with Snoop and, and getting over the beef with Suge, I mean, this is all growth, man. And, and as a man, we should all be growing and getting past certain things that we don't let go in our youth. And, I mean, is he going to let it go? That's a whole nother story. But like, I, I see the vision, you know what I mean? And, and I'm a dreamer, so, you know what I mean? Like, could it happen? Probably it, it's very slim, you know what I mean? It's very slim. It's crazy that the loyalty that we have for the hood is not the same loyalty that we have for our people. Because with Jay, it's a capitalist issue, but then we're going to die for the hood. You know what I mean? So it's it, it's a double-edged sword. And I, I, again, I just don't think, I think we so, I think we so wish-washy it is everywhere going around. You know what I mean? That this has been the influence for the last 60, 70 years. Yeah, it's a you know whole other 60, 70 years, but we don't look past beyond that. You know what I mean? As I'll far as. Of course, yes. I just wanted to interject. My little homies don't give a fuck about Snoop Dogg. Nigga, that nigga's just another rich nigga. The niggas want to flop. Yeah. They homies, um, niggas don't give a fuck about none of them niggas. Niggas looking up to the nigga who's right in front of them. The, the person they, they see every day. Else. Yeah. Yeah, that's real spin. And the niggas that they listen to don't give a fuck. Nigga, they're not even from California, Jack. Yeah. And that's every young nigga from Cali. Mm-hmm. Every little nigga you see running around with a tattoo on their face and he tripping. And that's the nigga you actually looking at like, nigga, uh, hold on, this nigga right here look like he might be. I'm gonna have to snuff this little nigga. <laughs> he might be a problem. Yeah. Nigga don't give a fuck about Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg look like something to eat. Same thing with Jay-Z. They don't care about Jay-Z. Nah. They don't even listen to their music. Yeah. We gotta look at our generation. Yeah. Like, we so conceited. I feel like the older motherfuckers get, the the more conceited they get about what it is that they experienced in life. Yeah. Because now it's absurd for me to dress with these holes in my jeans and shit and have tattoos on my face and shit like that, right? But for one, who motherfuckers, the niggas was wearing act, nigga. When I was a kid, I dressed like my big brother or I dressed like what was on television. Mm -hmm. Nigga. My jeans were wrinkled up under my fucking pants and my belt, and I felt awkward. Yeah. I couldn't run for shit. <laughs> my shoes were un. My shoes are untied right now. Yeah. But it was bad. Jack, like I'm, I'm swimming in my <laughs> shit. Swimming in your gear, nigga. And the generation before that. Mm. Man, nigga, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. You get a load of them nigga shorts. Them niggas was wearing pantyhose. <laughs> them niggas nigga. had drawers on. They's out there hooping in underwear and shit. Nigga, every time an old nigga got to get to talking about a young nigga doing his thing, whatever, I show him a picture of Booty Collins, nigga. <laughs> Game over. Go in the house, old dude. You niggas was doing it too. Hey man, so it's like also oh, real shit. The, that that whole Flash and the Furious Five era was just really a 
uh, was was really a bad look. It's hard to talk about these young niggas, and you go right. back, and niggas got the right. Macho Man, Randy and that's Savage. That's why I kill old niggas off. Because yeah. when the old niggas get to talking to me like that, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, wait, bro, hold on. Before you get to talking, yeah. I want you to take a look at Fat Five Freddy <laughs> while he's holding a microphone interviewing another nigga <laughs> that looked like a whole transsexual <laughs> with a wig <laughs> on. Nigga, you are cross dressing right now, bro. <laughs> Prince is a cross dresser, bro. Hey, 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 no Prince David Slander. Bowie is no, a pr- dresser, no Prince bro. Slander on the podcast. I, I, now, this is my nigga. I adore. No, yeah, yeah, I talk. No, I, I no. named some song. I, uh, a, 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 a ride of city. Oh, I named some yeah, real records yeah, from yeah, Prince that did, niggas don't even did. talk about. We did, but cross dresser, bro. I just like so to believe. Niggas, I like to believe that he was just too small for regular nigga clothes. He was too so that, Okay. <laughs> so that's why he was. That's why he had to wear women's gear. Baby Gap was in a Prince was like a, a, a minus two. And, and Prince living down on two. Yeah. Because somebody must have shot him two times in the ass because the nigga had two blown out ass cheeks, Jack. So he that's facts. Down too. That's facts. I heard he could play basketball though. Yeah, that's what they said. They said, seen him play. they said. They said. I've seen. He Actually, used to bully Michael Jackson, and what he did. Well, he tried to run him over. Some what shit what like he did that to James Brown was absolutely. I think it, I'm, I'm. I'm surprised James ain't activate after that. Was that when all three of them went on stage or well, whatnot? He, he, yeah, but well, James Brown was disrespectful. I would yeah. activate it if I was Prince on yeah. top because yeah. James Brown. Michael Jackson, I want to bring up Michael Jackson. Michael yeah. Jackson, get up there. He, you know, he got glasses on. He's Do his shit. Around, yeah, his yeah, shit. I seen that. Yeah. And then he said. Michael Jackson asked me to bring, bring up, up Prince. Prince. Fuck yeah. you mean, nigga? <laughs> yeah. Michael Jackson asked you to bring me up? Yeah. So now I'm supposed to come up? Yeah, yeah. So then Prince get up there, start playing all types of instruments, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> and then knock down the whole stage. <laughs> yeah, the Motherfucker lead. right there. <laughs> oh, what? Prince is a dog. <laughs> what? Yeah. So James Brown, so the only reason why you bringing me up is because you had to? Yeah. You a buster. Yeah. And James Brown ain't no buster. Nah. But that was some Buster shit. That was. I didn't like that. Yeah. I, I wonder. I wonder if James had had beef with uh, Prince. I, I, that is probably high shit. Yeah. yeah. James, James could have been high. Hey, as fuck. Probably yeah. high. He didn't know who the fuck <laughs> Prince was. <laughs> He He's like, did not know who the fuck Prince was. He's like, who's at, a, who's at a, that time? About, he was he was thinking about another Nigga. bump. That's what the fuck yeah, he was thinking he's about at that time. Like, like shit. Jackson five, Jack. It's a whole. He got lineage. Mike. Prince popped the nigga pop. Hey man, Prince. They put that nigga in the studio. Like here, we're gonna sign you as a child. Yeah, that's fucked Throw up. Throw you in the studio, yeah. and now you're a machine. Yeah. What? That's why Prince knows how to play all the shit he plays. Yeah. And he sings in all the keys that he sings. Yeah. And he also has split vocal chords like Janis Joplin, mm-hmm. like Aretha Franklin. I didn't know that. Like yeah. Axel Rose. Man. So that's why he has that uh, that it's range. Split vocal yeah. chords. Angelo tough. also has it. Yeah. But they go through it. They go. <laughs> that wiggle shit. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. That shit. <laughs> that bullshit. Yeah. Everybody sing like that. They got split vocal chords. Pooh, real quick. Let me ask mm-hmm. you, man. Thoughts on on OG Snoop at this point, and then you know just the unity message. You know, it sounds good, like we've been saying, but you've touched on this before. I mean, is there any realm of possibility that you ever see shit dying down? Well, I got a couple different takes on it. Like he said, um, I can listen to this Snoop, the Snoop the fucking 17 years before this I didn't fuck with period mm-hmm. I can listen to that that snoop right there as far as the message I mean I guess he has to do it because he's older he's about to be 50 years old yeah no one's expecting no one's respecting gangbang and snoop at so this it's point, like right? um no. as far as the streets man fuck yeah. no and, and I'm gonna tell you like this you know just from my section nigga you ain't fixing like people wanna get in front of the camera and say Blood, crip, this crip, cuz, blood, all that. When it comes to these streets, my nigga, you gotta fix in home first. Mm. I'm from East Compton. Mm. Nigga, and I, I said this shit on social media, and niggas got my post deleted. Damn. I can go back 10 years. It's, you know, not to turn this podcast to some gangbang shit, but yeah. this is where I'm from. You know, we got Cross Atlantic, Lime Hood, Lucas Park, Elm Street, Crew Town, Hollywood. Mob. I can't tell you over the last ten years when the last time a cop and crip killed anybody from any of them hoods. Cause it's cause it's our own killing, killing our own. So you're a cop and blood. Yeah. Or you grew in that area, yeah. that section. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? I'm a far west crib, right. showline crib, right. advantage, right? Right. Yeah. So it's your own kill and your own, know, essentially. Because now, look, he's a blood, I'm a crib. My heart doesn't change. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm, I don't have no type of animosity towards this man. We're right, not. Right. It's a total misconception. Exception. Yeah, yeah. That it's like blue versus red, Crips versus blood. Right. No, it's not. Yeah. It's really not. Yeah. All my enemies is either Crips or Mexicans. Mm. Damn. Mm. It's, it's about who's right there around. Who's right there around. Right. And where I grew up at, like, we had this talk with the whole Death Row shit. Yeah. You know, the, the niggas, you know, that's where I'm from. I lost. You lost family. Lost family in that Exactly. Shit. Straight up. You know all the, the whole history, all these names, niggas, mob, James, saying and all that. It's real life. Dry snitching, talking hood politics with a guy that smoked yeah. two years back. It's real life to you, yeah. It's, it's, it's bullshit. Like, um, I come from an area where, nigga, you get too big, the homies gonna kill you. There ain't no such thing as we gonna look up to this nigga. No, nigga, the, the real killers is gonna come and kill your motherfucker. Damn, homies, I'm yeah. the only, hey, last, I'm like the... Man, and the homie just got got this nigga man listen all right all the homies that ever got close to fame niggas dead nigga and then there's me mm. dead homies mm. and that's, that's I, got, I, I ain't get fame i'm not famous right all the big homies nigga that had all the cars yeah. all the women yeah. all did they shit yeah nigga dead mm. nigga, it ain't it ain't and that's i know it's everywhere i yeah. feel some type of way with my with nigga in because I'm connected, but right. at the same time, nigga, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, I could go back further with the, um, with the Snoop Dogg and the peace shit. Yeah. I can go back to 92, um, the peace treaty. I yeah. was a young nigga, yeah. but I was there. Yeah. I remember Snoop Dogg and them being at the park right there. I forgot how to pronounce the shit. Huffton Park, whatever, right next to Long Beach, Jordan. Yeah. One of his homies got slapped. Them niggas had to leave. At the peace treaty. At the peace treaty. At the peace treaty. That's talking crazy. 92. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, so a nigga been around that shit. It, it, it's all great in the moment. And YG then, is a bust. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Well, I'm like, damn, homies, man, me and this nigga had a personal conversation where I told him to stop blooding me. I didn't really care. I just run around with my big homies. Right. I'm, and now I got big, like, it's all different. Like, it's people, different. People look at, cause like, man, you know how for so long, I looked at anybody who was older than me as an enemy. Why though? Let me ask you why. Because motherfuckers talk down to you. That's true. Okay. I tell niggas and, straight and, up. And it's not like it's not like a disrespectful type of way, but motherfuckers feel like they entitled yeah. to talk like that to you. So for a long time, my respect was twisted. Mm-hmm. Like how I respected things was different. It wasn't about oh he's older than me, so I have to respect him. Right. Nigga, that had to be my grandmama and my mama. Right. Was a right. Man, nigga, right. we could get in. Right. 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 Yeah. Like, but see, like, so when we're talking about figures that people look at as nationally known, like a YG or a Nipsey Hussle or right, right. a Snoop Dogg, nigga, Snoop Dogg. As far as I'm concerned, he's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan for your crib. And that's no disrespect but that's, to Snoop Dogg. I yeah. was just with Tech. Right. But I was just truth. with his peer. And he drives me up the wall. Infant Tech and his mama, actually, I know the niggas that started rolling 20s. Mm. And it was a woman, really, but that's, damn, on oh, that, man, listen. But look, <laughs> he's not that. It's yeah. not like people be like, nigga, Snoop Dogg, you're going to represent this crib shit. Yeah. And if you make one false move, you're gone. Because he would have been gone. Yeah. Well, for a time, didn't they want him out of Man, Long Beach? Snoop Dogg. His own people. Snoop Dogg, the same reason why everybody else loves Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg ain't looked at as like some, just some big Christmas type Super shit. Super gang bang. Nigga, I listen yeah. to Mozzie more, I listen to Snoop Dogg. Mm. Snoop Dogg is just a fucking mascot. At this point, legendary, and I guess he would be to the mainstream media the face of, of, of Crippin'. I think to he's the, the most famous rapper ever known. Yeah, that's what we talked about last remember last I, episode. Remember I was yeah. on your page. Yeah, I yeah. On your page, I was like, wait. Yeah. Because now I'm not the biggest Snoop Dogg fan. Nor, uh, nor I'm am I. Sorry, Jack. Snoop Dogg, the famous motherfucker, most famous rapper. Who's more famous than Snoop Dogg? We tried to talk mm-hmm. about that. We said maybe it was Jay. Hey, and that could be this power move. 
Maybe this is that move for Jay to, Jay really to get back like in the limelight. That Nick Nas killed him when he said he looked like at his time, At his time, he Master, Master, P. Like Master P. Master P was bigger Master than P Snoop. Some type of way. Okay, Master P, the biggest hustler ever to hit hip hop music. Go really? Right. Master right. P. Hey, he, Master P put together a business model. That everybody copied. For a nigga who can't really rap. Yeah. But he willing to do the footwork. Yeah. And you want to be famous? Yeah. So you ain't got to really be able to know how to rap. Sell some shit. Do it consistently. That nigga put together the business model for people like Gucci Man. Yeah. A lot of other people. I like mean, they, shit. You know, like, Nip, Nip said it. Ma- you know, too. Nip said it. a lot. Of, I think a lot of cats definitely got the blueprint from from Master P. I, yeah, you know, most definitely. Tr. I, I the, wish I had a little bit more Master P in me. I just don't like moving my feet. I'm <laughs> like a nigga. If you don't mind me saying, it need to be more people in the game like. Master P. That's love. that's real true. That's, that's, that's real talk. Nipsey's a younger version of Master yep. P, which Nipsey didn't get the He could have got his shine on. That's the same. What happened to Nipsey? That's what did happen. Imagine a decade from now, Nipsey probably. What Nipsey would be like? Yeah, I, I I mean projections of Nipsey are like because he's also political. A lot of people are just finding out now that he's political. Yeah. That he had a hand in politics. You know, uh, Ti had to go cover for him. Nipsey Hussle was a forward thinker, and I think that his music didn't necessarily show that. He didn't, like, but Nipsey Hussle was a capitalist. He was. But he did not verbalize that in his music. In his music, he represented the streets. He represented Roman 60 Crip. But as a businessman, he's a capitalist. He was, he was, he was definitely forward thinking. Like, like, what, what, he, what he say, uh... Uh, Dr. Sabi, he was teaching health. Yeah. I fuck with Rick Ross because he's teaching wealth. wealth. Yeah. Yeah. That's real shit. And to make that statement come from here, he definitely had an intellect that most. Because Rick Ross is from here. Yeah, and I so think when you say that, yeah. and you and you bring this Florida nigga who was a, a, a fucking cop. Correction officer, yeah. Under your, under your, prote- that's bringing the nigga under your protection. And he almost signed him. Out Ross here? was, Ross was saying he almost signed. But he, uh, but he wouldn't do that. That would have been like that. Would've he been. almost signed Nip, and then uh, what's with Don yeah, he, Kennedy? He, he, he almost had, yeah. Him, he but, was gonna sign Nip and Don Kennedy. Nip couldn't make that deal. That would have been absolutely asinine. And then I, I couldn't see him as a, a Maybach music artist. Like I couldn't Sam see that. Like yeah. Yeah. Nigga, and then, yeah. No, but yeah. the m- musically, right. what he did was take that music mold. Right. What did he say? Okay, you got the runners and you turned them into a band. Right, right. I'm going to get 1500 or nothing. Yeah. And we're going to put this together. So musically, I'm going to get that business mode from you. Yeah. But as far as marketing, name-wise, and all of that shit, no, nah, no way, Jack. You are weird. Yeah. But he's able to separate it and yeah. not let his emotions get in the way. And that's what I that's what I actually like from capitalists. There's no emotions involved. Nope, and that's and that perfectly wraps that up because Jay is not going to lose a motherfucker. Us as men sleep over this. Us as Ooh. men, as men, we just have. If every imagine every one of us had ten percent more capitalism in us, mm. imagine how good our kids would be. More right? How far? How far? They more could be as far as they are right now. Yeah, with that little cushion, never hurt nobody. Yeah, that's real shit. So if we all take a little bit of capitalism thing and throw it in this <laughs> and go get it, like get fuck it. everybody, I, I hope you hate me. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's why and that's why I say, like, you know what? Niggas wanna say Jay-Z. Nigga, they these niggas even call him kind of devil. They really say he done got some alignment with the devil. I don't think, like to to be honest with you, I think all that shit is like Nigga, knock it off. That's some weirdo shit to me. Mm-hmm. That's some weak shit. That's yeah. some weirdo shit. I'm not never giving a man no, oh, so because he's successful, so, he got he, an alignment with yeah, a okay. higher power. <laughs> right, right. Nigga, fuck you, the devil, all, everything yeah, that you that's, got. Man, that's the ultimate cop out. That's weirdo that. shit. Yeah. So when people be like, oh, when I look at, and, I, and there's hundreds and it's probably thousands of 
on the internet. The videos. They got a lot of weird shit. Yeah. They got a lot of weird shit. The symbols and all this machines, other type of shit. Bro, the yeah. machines, bro. So before we wrap this up, I want to talk about the the gangland joint. Gangland. Man. I started making that shit March 31st. Mm-hmm. Nipsey got knocked down. I didn't believe it. Uh, my artist is from Rolling Hunter. His name Yellow Tape. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was making a beat. It's called Money Dance. I'm making a beat. Nigga said Nipsey got shot outside of snow. Come on, we about to push up there. I'm not going up there, Jack. Yeah. For one, ain't no. For one, ain't no, ain't no reason. Ain't no action up there. Right. And then for two, I don't believe that shit. Three or four, I don't want to see that shit. Yeah. So I get a call back while I'm making the beat money dance. This nigga's actually dead. Mm. I pulled up Willie Hutch. I always felt some type of way about the song Blue Laces. Yeah. You know, I met Nipsey when I was a little kid. I was a little kid. Okay. I met him at Fat Effects. The song mm. by a dude named Jarnell. At the time, he was the only person making EPKs. And uh, he was also pressing up CDs and shit. Mm, so he's trying to help younger artists get on, make their electronic press kits and shit like that. He was trying to help. Now he can make a dollar. <laughs> Janelle, yeah. I fuck with him. He's a capitalist too. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't, you know. But I met Nipsey there, and um, that's that's when I first met Nipsey. And like how it's all like set up, bro. So we are judging each other as people. Yeah. Like Nipsey. Nipsey was the guy that, okay, we didn't look at him like he was famous. Mm-hmm. Which is another dude. From out here. Yeah. Like us out here. Yeah. Everybody got a story with Nipsey. Mm, I, I'm, and I'm finding that to be true. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. He, he everybody was somebody who was accessible. Everybody had a personal picture with him. Everybody yeah. had a conversation with him. Everybody, man. So that's so, was so it, gangland it, was it, triggered by Nipsey's death uh, originally. Okay. But it didn't just trigger his like it didn't just trigger me. Oh now, okay. He's not from we're not from the same place. Right. But so the first thing I thought about was was Blue Laces too. I thought Blue Laces, the first one was poorly engineered and I wouldn't listen. I don't listen to anything that's poorly engineered. Mm. I'm an engineer by first year. Right, 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 right. So um Two was masterfully done. Yeah. And when he talked about that shooting in Venice, mm-hmm. where I'm from. Right, right. Daniel Freeman mm-hmm. Hospital. Mm-hmm. And he referred to it as Daniel Free. Mm-hmm. That when he put himself like that, and then when he tried to keep his home laughing. Yeah. So he don't die. It's not the first time he references Venice. Mm. We fight all the time. Everybody fights, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially just being from, you yeah. know, we're from Los Angeles. And being out, yeah. Yeah, we're from Los Angeles, man. We represent different sections of it. It's yeah. tribal. It's, it's yeah. actually natural for black and brown to interact like this. Yeah. You know? It's it's tribal. Gangs are tribal. 100,000 years, yeah. So, like, it triggered me. So that I have a different skill set versus a rapper. Right. I'm an MC first and foremost. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm an MC. I I like people on the line for me. I like niggas on my plate. I like it. Someone jumps on a plate. Beat them up. Yeah. But I have a different skill set as a producer. So like musically. Baseline. We drive cars. Niggas on the East Coast, niggas walk and jump on a train. Yeah. I'm not saying nothing bad about niggas from the East Coast. My dad's from Harlem, USA. Right. And you spent some time out there, definitely. I spent yeah. a number of years out there. I learned yeah. how to rap out there. Yeah. Um, but we drive. They don't drive. We need this. It's necessary. That's where niggas like too short who can't like too short. He almost was on the list, Jack. Too <laughs> short was almost on the list. Sugar free was almost on the list. Sugar free should have been on the list. 
sugar free slept. I didn't put sugar free on the list because it wasn't my list. My list, sugar free would be top 20. But it's different. Yeah. So, baselines. It's a formula. The reason why I'm talking about this is because gangland is a formula. So now you got the baseline. And now what are we talking about? For one, you can't find a hi hat on gangland. I didn't hear one. You found some cowbells on some rim shots. What what trap was the cowbells on? What was that? Uh 600 Sands. Okay. Uh no, I'm, I'm sorry, S63 Sands. Okay, that was a that was a song in reference to the whip in it. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give me um Game of Thrones, cowbells. No, nah, Game of Thrones was uh, was cool. There was one that I'm trying to remember now. The one that I was uh, that stood out the most to me. Uh, what was the name? Marvin. Marvin. Sample. It had the Marvin sample. Yeah. Ocean Which one was City. that? Ocean City. Ocean yeah, City yeah. I was I was feeling that because that's the track where you reference going to more uh, funerals and weddings, right? Was that was that Absolutely. that joint? Um, I was feeling that one. That was. Well, for one, look. Yeah, you got the Marvin tag. His brother did it. That's what's up. Yeah. And he did it with that that single needle bullshit. He mm-hmm. made the gun, and when he was incarcerated, mm-hmm. his brother was actually also on Vice TV oh. for that documentary called Scratchers. Okay, all right. That's what's up. His brother was the scratcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know they called it that until I looked at on um, Vice TV. Yeah, and, and that's what they called it. Yeah. That's good. Motherfuckers who learn how to tattoo in jail, tattoo everybody in jail, they call scratchers. scratchers. See Lonely Deuce. See Looney. See Looney. Okay. Deuce. He does every. He did every. All my. All these tattoos are done by him. Oh, okay. Every, every, everything's done by him. He, he tattooed this. He, he kind of went against his better judgment. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I need it. Yeah. I need it. And then when I told, because at first he was like, I don't want to tattoo over you, on your face. Uh, and he was like, But what do you want? He said, I want the word master on my eyebrow. So I'll tattoo that. Okay. He was like, I'm, I'm with it. Yeah. He's like, mm-hmm. I'll tattoo that. Yeah. So, baselines. Baselines. Now, the... Three, four note, five note, six note. That's a complex. And then, space. There was a lot of space in between verses, some hooks and stuff like that. I picked up... The, there's one where... Uh, I want to say it was on Blue Laces where you just let the you let uh, uh, you let the beat rock for a little bit on Blue Laces for a right in between your uh, in between uh, Yellow Tape's verse and your and, and your verse you just there was yeah, that well, you know, there was y- that space tape, in. Uh, you know Yellow Tape from Roller Hunters yeah um, you know, they rolling mm-hmm. that's a car uh, I didn't want to go up there I got a personal r- relationship with him you know. My parents lived on Fairview, right the street from his parents' restaurant. Mm-hmm. And my, my relationship with, with Nipsey wasn't no gang shit. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, nigga, I'm not finna jump in a car and see somebody dead, Jack. Yeah. Not my, not what, not saying that's what the homies shouldn't have did, because for one, they're like my brothers over yeah. there. Yeah. And I'm from Venice. Okay, I'm from Venice, but I'm telling you, them niggas, like, I'm, there's a couple of niggas over there, like my brothers. I feel like that's like from any. Like anybody feels like that from anywhere. Right, right. There's certain people from certain places that you just connect with. That you just got that bond with. Yeah. And it's like an induction as far as like emotionally. Yeah. So like they slid up there. I was still making the beat, but when they told me that, I turned on blue laces too. Cause then you diss my hood by calling us shoelaces. <laughs> so when I saw that, when I first saw Blue Laces, the first one, I was like, check this out. And this, this is before me and Nipsey actually had like a real, because we met in 2004, at Fat Effects. And... It was just a meet, like we just made each other. We were just sitting there waiting for our shit to get pressed up. Pressed up, yeah. pressing up shit. I'm like bow bow, but I, but I gang bang and I curse. So it was like kind of like that. So this like, nigga said he's like bow wow, but he gang bang. Cuz was doing that Slauson boy shit. Yeah. It was in a group. It was Cuz and two other niggas, and it was Big U. 
uh, was that uh, his son, his, his son, uh, Mike, Mike went, from, went to Samo. That's mm-hmm. how I really fucked with Mike. Was it was the Slossom Boys? That was Nip and. Uh, Two was other the, niggas. What, I'm not yeah. even, I'm not too. What was his cousin who got who got murdered before Nip? Uh, oh, Sandman. Yeah, Sandman and the Goose. Oh, that wasn't his cousin. Okay, nah, I thought it was Negus, family. Sandman yeah, Negus yeah. Was his cousin. Okay. He was, also, he was just also a reacher. Okay. In that section, there's a lot of reachers. Yeah. There's a reacher then gravitated. Little reacher is actually over just in that area. Right. You know right. I mean? Right. Yeah, so that's a Horatian thing. Yeah. Kind of remind me of how Samoan is all related, but they ain't related. But they ain't right. related. And they be yeah. out there in Long Beach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Well, we were just having a conversation the other day. Shout out to all of our Polynesian listeners and, and Polynesian family that we have out there. But Polynesian, Samoans, whatever you want to say, they organize in some of the weirdest fucking places. Like, you could be in the middle of Idaho. And there'll be like three fucking uh, Polynesian Samoans. Give it six months. There's like 90 of them building their own fucking community. Them and it's just the weirdest like shit. One, them and it's hefty. <laughs> they and hefty. I actually prefer they don't even know me because if they like you, they, they hit you like yeah. this, bro. And it's like this. And you you going you to go aggress. You're going to feel it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, nigga, come on. Can you know you're too big for this shit. Yeah, right. So I like, I like them motherfuckers. Yeah. They look happy as yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah, as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So I know they eating good. Yeah, yeah. But I don't necessarily want to be too friendly with them motherfuckers. Yeah. If they befriend you, yeah. they slapping you on your back extra hard. <laughs> you big to so yeah, that's real shit. Rest in peace to our nigga man Norm man. Uh, who, who, yeah, shit passed passed a few months ago, but yes, yeah, the big Samoan nigga hitting you and shit like that. Happy jolly, but that nigga was hitting me when I was saving his life. Yeah, right, right. Happy hey, jolly. Heavy hit. It's a heavy body. Smiling one minute, uppercut niggas the next. Like, what? Right. we were just having a good time. What the right. fuck? You know what I mean? Like, you know. But so the album. Yeah, briefly, yeah. Briefly. For one, I changed all the A's and the B's because B is the first letter in my alphabet. Right, right. You don't got to be the first letter in everybody else's alphabet. Right, right, right. So when you read Gangland, it looks a little awkward. It's like, why is it? Yeah. The only time I don't change the actual A into a V uh-huh. is when I spell out USA because I'm an American. Right, right. All right. Got you, got you. So USA, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change that. There will be no alterations to that because I stay claiming that just the same way these white boys stay claiming. It. Right. We're American. We have every right to. Let me ask you. You told me this is a series, so there's so far six. Uh, there's six of them. Six of they them. They will be released. They will be released. Yes. What is, you know, is that just you? The expression you, you take. What, what ride are you gonna take the listeners on, or is this just? You know, organic thought being placed in the moment when you're creating these different projects, or was it's, this, or, or was this planned out? It's been organically, like, okay, March thirty first, mm-hmm. I got triggered. Okay, what triggered you for pull me volume away from, two? I was about to put out an album called Master. Mm-hmm. I had the album in my ear. Yeah, so my, we listened to it. Matter yeah, of fact, we listened to it two years ago. That was a uh, you dropped a video for that though. Yes, you I mastered did. you dropped the video dropped for the Master. Video for the song Master. I, I, so I remember hearing the hearing it when you came through. You played it for us, and I remember seeing the video. I have yeah. four more videos, yeah. and I was actually about to drop the next video for that album. Yeah, and I wanted to unroll it like on some like 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 some pure shit. Yeah, take my time, do it how I want to do how it. How you doing want it? Yeah, you know, and let the people take to it. They killed Nipsey Hussle. See, the thing about it is you kill one lion, another one got to get up. They got shit that ain't make me sad. Motivated. They got shit that not make me sad. At all. That anger. And then it was a domino effect. All different type shit, type of shit started happening. And then see, like my... I made a song called Straight Off The Block a long time ago that was inspired by his brother and another artist by the name of Lil Modo. Mm. They made a song and that entire, it was a style though. It was more than just a song. It was a style and it was also a way of life. It was culture. Mm. It was the far west side culture. Mm. And you know, regardless of who knows about that culture or not. Right, right, right. It's our culture, you right, know? Yeah, yeah. So that, Motherfuckers want cash cuz all you gotta do is 12 of these. 
and it's probably like 10 of those, but I think an interval of six is, that's, I think, a certain difference. I'm numerical too. Right, right, right. So, I was like, okay, I never did it. Never wanted to do it. They killed Nipsey. And I did that. Mm-hmm. And I created an entire formula for the beats. But then after the, after Nipsey died, nigga, my artist got shot up. And after that, nigga, my little homie got shot up. And he Damn. got actually passed. And then, you yeah, know, it just created a domino yeah. effect. So then it, it became a domino effect with me, too. But I'm a producer, too. I got a skill set. Right. But then I got another skill set. That has to do with my cricket. And I got another skill set that has to do with my rap. All of these things are different skill sets. And this I'm also a production designer because I can draft. Yeah. I'm also a scenic painter. Yeah. I'm also a chef. Yeah. So they're different skill sets. So, yeah. but that was triggered. I wanted to actually keep that up. Like, you want to keep that, it tough? That, that yeah. is on tough. So, so two through six is then so one vi- being influenced by you know Nipsey's Nipsey's After murder. After I made Clack Excellence, uh, I had to make Warning Signals. Okay, and that's what's dropping next. That's nine and two. Okay. It's morning. Sickness. Now the play on words, Morning Sickness. Is that? It's morning, like crying. It, crying, right? Exactly. Like grieving. Yeah, yeah. I don't go to funerals no more. Right, right. It's that. Right. So that's what we're. Really, my homies got a real problem with that. There's funerals I didn't go up to. Niggas really actually asked me about why I didn't go to that funeral. Right. I'm that same way. I don't go to family members' funerals, I, and and it's just I don't want to see them in that state, so I don't go. And right. I catch a lot of heat from my family. Thankfully, people don't, you know, haven't been passing as of late. But I'm talking about aunts, uncles, and shit like that. Like I just want to keep the memories of the good times alive. Right. I don't want to go and 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 but there's experience thing that. Comes that. With that sickness. It's people mourn in different ways. Right. Like. It's just a whole different type of process. And when you're talking about gangland, look at all the different processes. Yeah. And people have to understand that, especially if they're being infatuated with our music and our culture. Right. Because that's what's being done. Right. A lot of us just can't articulate it as artists or as just people because, like, we don't pay attention to it, but I do. Yeah. So paying an acute version of attention to that people need to understand that morning sickness is not just morning sickness but it's morning sickness and it's morning sickness and then it's the sickness and then it gets real sick mm. and I see where you're going with that it just goes into a it whole just, other place yeah. it depends on who you are yeah cause it could just be you are truly mourning somebody then it could be on the reverse end that morning sickness is that revenge that get back uh, that's a how, lot of people that's how out, a lot of people from out here yeah. don't understand that we actually are numerologists mm-hmm. we, we don't necessarily put that label on it cause you know that's labeling but we're actually numerologists I know some um some niggas from uh a Trey in, in Brooklyn, New York. My mm-hmm. cousin, Nug mm-hmm. G. He's also an artist. And that motherfucker's got a science of why the eight is the eight and why mm-hmm. the three is the three. It's a whole science. This ain't Third Street. I'm mm-hmm. tripping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the relevance of those numbers, the power of those numbers, the importance of the numbers to them. Right. Yeah. There's no mathematics to this right, shit. Right, right. Yeah, somebody said this is 83rd and that's 82nd. Right, and that's it's where just that we yeah. They but have I think all that it is because it's, it's a section, right? And I think it's just because we want to assign something to the meaning when we want to, you know, if I'm from any hood numerically, right. then of course I'm gonna, you know, try to way to glorify that and make that right. mean like something more than what it is. Exactly. There's a lot of things that go on within the shit, but at the same time, yeah. like we give I'm them from power. I'm from Showline Crip because yeah. why? I'm from Six Ave. I'm literally. Six blocks from the ocean. Right. Six blocks go down, there's the ocean. That's crazy. Um, at the shoreline. Yeah, 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 yeah. The shoreline's right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They ain't no making this shit up. <laughs> yeah, right. They ain't coming up with no scientific philosophies <laughs> and Einstein, Muhammad, nigga, none of that, we, 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 When it comes shore, to cripping, we the shortest line. That's why, yeah, we, that's we, why it's called we shoreline. Right here on the we the shortest yeah. line, yeah. Not even the theater. It's not S U uh, R E. Yeah. It's S H O R E. Yeah. Shore. Yeah. We're on the shore. Yeah, yeah. Any other name will be uncivilized. <laughs> right, right. We'll make no sense. Yeah, and you hatch assholes like me. And then you gotta understand where things come in. We're talking about a peer. Yeah. 
So we're talking about where you get to the water and things come in. So now when you talk about people like Rick Ross and characters like that, mm-hmm. the, the dope game was dropped off. Yeah. The dope game wasn't created. Yeah. I don't know a nigga who I don't know niggas that look like scientists with the white coats on. I'm sure there's a lot of them. Right. But I'm sure there's a lot of them that are not billionaires and zillionaires because they came up with fucking crack cocaine. Right, right, right. right. Shit, nigga, that shit was dropped off. And it's a combination of hustlers, niggas. Uh, Hustlers and consumers. Manufacturers. Yeah. Brown people. Yeah. And then now what? Now look at it. Now we building a wall blocking Another, us. Us from coming over. That's real shit, man. Niggas, your mama's getting snatched up right now, Jack. Mm. She was just in El Paso, nigga, when El Paso got shot up, Jack. She mm. talking about, I don't want to go to Target. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, it's real shit. It's bad, nigga. It's real bad. Like, and but look, but look at the assault. But look, that's why I said, if Donald Trump would just shut the fuck up, and that's why I got that song, Free Daniel Roof. Oh, uh, yeah. That's on, that's on that album as well. Yeah, FDR. Yeah. Free Daniel Rue. Free him. Can we do a trade at least? Shit, because if we, if we could get, like, let's get a favor. Like, take K. That's what I said. Nigga, yeah. give, give, give us take K. And you can take Daniel Roof. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. The second that nigga hit the ground, he not, yeah, he's he a done. state. Yeah. He not even a state. That nigga's a spam can. <laughs> JK, he had a cookout eating good. Yeah. Good. Big chain on. Nigga. Yeah. But we're not, but at the same time, martial law. People don't understand certain things that go into play. And I know Sylvia, I know y'all know. Like, y'all know. Like, there's a lot of shit. It's tricky. Yeah, it is. It's tricky. So, Gangland, USA, Clack Excellence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how you move in the streets is your excellence. Like how Diddy pushed that black excellence shit. Yeah. The clack is the new black. Mm. Straight up. And if you look, it's a ski mask on my face. Yeah. On the and cover. it's a black ski mask. It's yeah. not a blue one. Yeah. It's not a brown one. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, now you do something bad to my family, nigga, I'm going to put that black on. Yeah. I'm not putting on no colors, Jack. Mm. That's real spit. Where can everybody get other because I said Spotify, I said uh, uh, I said it was on or it's on title, right? It's on all them shit. Physical title. copies available? Can they actually get not physical right copies now. out? But physical copies? Not gonna lie, and I can't yeah, lie to the yeah. Not right now. Nah, but eventually we'll be coming. I, I, I actually want to do some vinyl. Yeah, that'll be dope, man. Vi- people don't people need to do them limited edition yeah, vinyl like, releases. I'm more. not gonna do too many pieces, but I'll sign them. And especially for someone like you that has the ability to do some different shit. Oh, you, I didn't blow your Limited mind edition yet. pieces you know, and shit like that. You know, you. I'm going to play you a couple of joints. Oh, here. yeah. I'm I'm waiting for that. But I'm talking about from the artistic point of view. Like, yeah. you know, some of those, some of the imagery that you're spitting on the tracks to incorporate that into actual, some of the artwork for some of those Absolutely. singles and, and things I also like that. The artwork, too. I want to put, I got to talk about everything that I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't talk about what I don't do. I can right. only talk about what I do do. Right, right, right. I make the beats. I engineer the music. I, nigga, I didn't write not one song on the shit. I freestyled the whole shit. Uh. I'm, it, I, it was triggered by something. Mm-hmm. Domino effect. People ain't got an album from me since 2014. Yeah. When I went through some shit with some thieves, I'm not mm-hmm. going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Moved on from that. But at the same time, I'm the reason why... Y'all got Gangland, Volume 1, it's because Nipsey Hussle died. Mm. Give us all your and, social and, media and shit. And I don't, listen. There's no clout. For doing this. There's no clout when you know somebody. Right. And it's, nigga, there's no clout. And I don't think anybody don't, would accuse you of that. I don't get no return for Right. That. I don't think anybody I can't make that. a dollar off of Nipsey. Because I, I listen to it. I got songs right now that I can put out right now. I got a song I'm going to play it for you. Right. Can't, I'm not going to put it out, Jack. Right. Because that's corny to me. Yeah. I'm not in love there. Yeah. <laughs> not in love there. That's corny. But at the same time. It's fucked up that they not cuss down. Yeah, and I don't think anybody like can accuse you up. of doing that. I listened to it. The only thing that stood out was the blue face, was the blue laces four. I don't. It's not one of these records that you're telling me that well, inspired blue laces it. Four, I've never sampled blue laces. 
I sampled Willie Hutch. No, I know that, but just a reference. Right. But I don't think anybody can sit sit back and, and make that assumption. Uh, because if I if you didn't tell me the story, I wouldn't know that's what motivated you to make Gangland like, well, because it doesn't. If you listen to Blue Laces too, ain't nobody else that can carry it on really. If we're gonna talk about, but they see you knock this nigga down like him. Yeah. That is so stupid. It was so stupid to kill him. I got some trades. This shit gonna look like trading the whole team for one player, Jack. Mm. I got some trades. Ain't gonna, you know, cause that's fucked up. I ain't gonna speak that on nobody, but I right. got some trades. Right. Jack. Because and when they grab it, it don't even. It's not even like a game thing to where you like we from the same place. Right. 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 If anything, it's kind of like the opposite of that, but it's not like that. Yeah. But like it's just mutual. Like we said, spoke and about me earlier. And Nipsey had a person. We had a relationship that was outside of gang shit. It right. was music. Shit. It was music shit. And he's so smart. Yeah. And he listens. Yeah. When you when you want to listen to a fucking crazy preteen, I met him. I was a preteen. Mm. And. He sponges everything, but you you're supposed to do that. Right. He sponges everything. That's what that's what the that's what the true thinkers do. They take bits and pieces and and then gives it back. Yeah. Mass. Yeah. Like there's so many people like I thought of that first thing. I did, but look at this. He took it that information and put it on his platform. Right, expanded it and then right, and then, and then, and then right, gave it back, right. made it a little yeah, better. Yeah, thought is a thought, nigga, but yeah. the thought given to the people means so, so much, much more. more. Yep, you're 100 percent right. Where can people follow you at, Cash? I know you got uh, it, it, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, it's a uh, Cash Y uh, Y B N G C P S H. Okay. I'm difficult. Yeah, I've been I, trying to tag you and I'm shit. I'm one of the motherfuckers that need a hit. <laughs> Like, like a hit record or some shit? Yeah, nah. I need a hit record. Niggas gotta nah. be like, oh, this is young. Like, because my, my shit is too tricky. Like, my yeah. social handle. No, nah, I be trying like, to tag you and shit. I and I, I be, I type your name like, and then I, I die. Yeah. Nothing. He told you, just replace the A's and B's and you'll catch them. You'll find them. Yeah, that's it. I'm, see, I'm, that's why I'm still too square. Cause I was pulling up the, I was pulling up the shit. I was listening to it. I, so we and Simon sitting here real shit, yeah, yeah. and I was just like, all right. It was like, it was about like track four. I was like, oh, okay, I see what he's doing. The V for Venice. He's, I, I, I catch it's it. The first letter in the alphabet for me. Yeah, Venice. That's, that's it, took guy, to, that's it took like me a minute to, it took me to catch star. it. Yeah, I, it took me a minute to catch that. But I, by the time I got to like, like when I want to know where West track is, four, we're good. Yeah, I look towards my city. Yeah. My city is the closest thing to the. Well, water. that's some nomad shit. You know what I mean? You know where you look in, where the, where home is, anywhere. You know what I mean? And that's and that's and a that's. A lot of people don't even know what east. None, man. People are so directionally retarded. Right. Because we got these smartphones, so you don't need to know anything. It makes you obsolete. And it does. It makes you You're obsolete. Trading your brain for a fucking phone. Right. And giving all the phone our info. So eventually, right. the phone is us. Yeah, well, they ask permission, but you yeah. also sign contracts every time they get an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, crazy. It gets tricky, that's a whole other podcast that we should tricky. sit down and we should talk about that as well. Yeah, it gets tricky. But we're gonna play some records. We're gonna play some, um, uh, attach some some uh, joints at the end of this uh, podcast, so people Thank can go you. ahead and and, 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 and get a, and get a bar. Um, and, and really, I hope take away from you know all of the music you've done and the journey that you've you, you you've taken. You know what I mean? Because there is a lot of music out there. If you just go in YouTube, your name or whatever, um, and I think that's kind of what separates you, in my opinion. I mean, it's real shit. Have you ever done that? I have, but then I and that's what separates you from a lot I of these get cats. About certain things because pass is a pass, and yeah, and, and you, gonna yeah, you gonna let bygones be bygones, Bye. where oh. and just keep moving. But mm-hmm. at the same time, that is part of your legacy as a West Coast artist. You yeah. know what I mean? So you can't say some names without having to reference you because you're a part of that. And I think that's what's the most I impressive thing. That, yeah. And that's what I was saying in the, in the beginning. Of, yeah, and I'm saying that that's real shit. And so I think that is what I think a lot of these young artists need to, to hear is that you can remain who you are. You can remain true to yourself. And at the same time, you could be amongst these other people that might be more recognized or, or, or more loved for whatever reason, but you still remain who you are and you still get to do what you do. And I think in this industry now, we got a lot of cats that will m- mimic the 
the guy who's next to him at the time that they're next to that guy to hopefully take a little bit of that light. And then we have true artists who, no matter who I'm on a record with, doesn't matter who, you know, um, I am going to remain who I'm going to remain, whether I'm doing some rapidly rap shit, whether I'm giving you some real shit from the streets, you know, whether I'm giving you uh, some experimental type shit, where maybe I'm borderline singing some shit I didn't expect from Cash. And I'm listening like, okay, here he is. So I respect that shit. And, you know, and we need more of that. And I want to see you get a, I don't want to say a, a bigger platform. I think it's the right place. You, you need that right platform where what you can say is accepted, not knee jerk reaction to some of the shit that you say. Because I follow you on all your social media. And a lot of times I sit back and I was like, okay, Cash yeah. says this, yeah. Cash says this. Three, two, one, zero. Here comes a knee-jerk reaction by this somebody in the peanut gallery. This is that people are so blinded that they don't understand. And I hated this when the shit was getting tattooed on me. Yeah. But it says, shut the fuck up. Yeah. I didn't write it on your hand. You wrote it on your, yeah. It's for me. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. be like, oh, you just want to tell people to shut the fuck up. No, nigga. I'm the only person that can sort of... You do it. You're muting yourself. I cover myself. Yeah, yeah. I got me. I yeah. should... I know I need to shut the yeah, fuck up sometimes. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to speak your mind. Like, I'm, and I'm also like, I'm brash with it. I got to eat. Yeah, yeah. I'll admit it. Yeah. I got to eat. I think I'm one of the greatest rappers breathing. Yeah. And, and you got to think, think that way. And I think that most of these niggas don't even have the foundation as far as historically to even be able to understand what hip hop is right. to even challenge it. Right. And then I'm violent. But I was raised that way. Yeah. And I come from nothing. Yeah. And in and out of group homes. Yeah. Been in jail since I was a minor. Mm. I don't and I don't believe nobody. Right. I don't believe the textbooks. Yeah. I don't believe we come from slavery. I think it's all a lie. I think the media is a crock of shit. And I think most of these motherfuckers like real talk. That's why I don't even that's why I'm able to have a conversation with a character like a character like Jay Z. Mm. Or a character like any one of these characters. Because they're all characters. characters. Yeah. We're people. Right, right. What they doing. What they did in El Paso. Yeah. And I say they. I don't say one little fucking kid. Right, right. Come on. Say me and tell me. A child pulled off. One of the largest mass murders. In United States history. All of our motherfucking computer equipment, SpaceX, and all these motherfuckers out here running around. A kid did it. So who am I, an idiot? And it's not a reason why this shit going on. All right. Distraction. And last time I checked, I got my ass whooped before any of them niggas got their ass whooped by the police. Damn, um, he's like, I got my ass whooped in two different states. Sasaki so used to just chase a nigga cut run like the Terminator. <laughs> he said run like the Terminator. He'd run like this. <laughs> nigga, you running like this. <laughs> cut like this. Two different states. Mm. Both my cases are assault with a deadly weapon against a police officer. So miss me with the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm. That's just propaganda. Division. I know some white boys right now that ride for me harder than any niggas I've ever met. That's on everything I love. Same thing with brown people. Right. And the, brown and are pitted against brown and black are pitted against black. It's the Willie Lynch theory. Because yeah. technically, y'all niggas are supposed to hate me and this motherfucker and this mm -hmm. motherfucker. We just supposed to be hating each other. Right. This motherfucker. Everybody in this room right. should have so an Willie issue with another person. Willie Lynch right. each other, right. Jack. That's real shit. That's real and shit. And that motherfucker's made up. Yeah. Willie Lynch is fake. I didn't know that. Nigga, Willie Lynch never existed, Jack. That's a concept. Mm. It's the Willie Lynch theory. Lynch, his last name is really Lynch. And everybody's getting, what, come on. <laughs> we gotta think about this shit for a minute. I'm about to, I'm about to fact check though. I did not know that. This whole time I thought he was real. But Willie Lynch, yeah. Willie Lynch. Yeah. That dude got lynched. Yeah, yeah. you know what? Now that you say that shit, that does sound hella sad. And his name is Willie. That shit sound hella mean. Yeah, that does sound like Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch. Yeah. 
Hey, you learn something every episode on an honest conversation about hip hop. I might not give you the, I might not give it to you, but David Cash gave it to you. Man, today. listen, Jack, we all giving it to each other. Exactly. I pulled that from something else, and yeah. you, we all pulling it this. But it's that passing along of yeah, information that's that's, what, that's very important. That's what man. black and brown people yeah, are yeah. always about. That's what we are. And we've been that way. We that's gotta get, we gotta been. get, we gotta get back to that. We definitely do, man. So I want to thank you for coming through, man. I, I shit appreciate you coming through. Everybody go. African mythology. African mythology. All right. We definitely check that out. Who? Anything before we get out of here, man? You want to shout anybody? Anything, no. <laughs> yeah, you said you won't find anything. Yeah, because Greek stole it all. But never mind. Nah. Well, there's some. Spider Man is black. Miles Morales, right? Nah, Spider Man <laughs> is actually African mythology. Right. The 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 symbol on his uh on his on his costume. I didn't know that one. But Pooh, before we get out of here, anything, man? Uh, no, you know. Chilling. Just had a good time again and uh, look forward to the next one. San Capone, baby mamas, you want to shout out? You didn't shout out no baby mamas, man. What's what's going on, man? Hey, yeah, no, man, it's one o'clock in the morning, man. Them bitches are asleep right now. Chuck so shit. <laughs> hey, yeah. but we hit Chuck E. Cheese tomorrow. Chuck shit. E. Cheese. I got bro. my daughter. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pass the mic. Just saying, real quick, we want to you, you, uh, want to thank you for coming through, man, oh, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, sitting yeah, in. Yeah, sir, yeah, sir. You know, uh, let everybody know who you are, man. And and, and oh yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. This is the same man. Uh, you know, insane. You same man from Venice, California. For you, man, the lieutenant, man, 500, man, all day long, man. I'm just here to support, man. And, uh, you know, Cash gave out that good lesson, man. My ears was open, man. Had my sponge out, man. And, I, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's good yeah. Shit, bro. Right. I appreciate it, bro. Okay, you want to say anything before we get out of here? Okay, go ahead. Put me on. <laughs> Is this mic on? Click, 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 click. I click, click, click. I sang a little. I'm just oh, okay. Uh, so just... Hit up uh, my Instagram is letter to my dubs, uh, and my SoundCloud is uh, K Breeze. Okay, all right. So you rhyme as well, or sing, or sing. okay. That's that's dope as fuck. That's yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, shit, I almost forgot. Shout outs to Big Bad Radio. You can catch us in Philly every Monday morning, seven a.m. That is 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So big shouts out to Philly. I know I get on Meat Mill like every other episode. So uh, all love Joey to Philly. Joey G-Hot body them. Yeah, I, I love I Philly. I talk about that. But, you know. Joey G-Hot body them. Back in the, that's back in, that's back, that's meat. That's corn, yeah, that's corn, yeah, corn roll meat. Yeah, corn so, meat. So big shout outs to uh, Big Bad Radio. Make sure you download that app so you can catch an honest conversation about hip hop. Uh, 7 a.m. Uh, or actually, yeah. Uh, 7 a.m. Eastern and then uh, 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. our time. A uh, whole, whole bunch of other dope podcasts on there. As always, you know, you can find us on Spotify, uh, Google Play, our Lisbon uh, page. Uh, first upload is always to the Facebook page. So just go ahead. Uh, an honest conversation about hip hop. Uh, search that on Facebook so you can go ahead and get the uh, feed the morning after. So this is dropped Saturday. So if you're listening to it, I uh, hope you're having some cereal or whatever the fuck people do on Saturday morning. Shit's changed. We yeah. used to watch cartoons and chill. I don't know what motherfuckers do now on Saturdays, like the younger folks and shit like that. Is there cartoons on? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'll probably wake up around like 3, 4 in the afternoon. Yeah, man. Shit. Lil Deami ain't letting that happen. Yeah, <laughs> shit. He, knows no, he has no concept of time. Drunk. Yeah, I miss those yeah, days. Right. Yeah, no, I miss those days. Man. <laughs> but as always, it's been an honest conversation about hip hop. It's your boy D. Moraney, aka Hip Hop's Old Head, aka Hip Hop's Uncle Phil. And until next time, y'all be good. Peace. I might see a nigga with a ski mask on. <laughs>